Well, if we start with somebody like James Montgomery Boyce, who I knew personally uh, and was a friend of mine, um, he published a series of sermons, I think, in a sense, <coughs> modelling himself on uh, a practice that Martin Lloyd-Jones had adopted some years earlier, where he decided that he would preach on all the major doctrines of the Bible. Oh, very good. Okay. And uh, Lloyd-Jones, incidentally, has published a, a, a sort of a three-volume work uh, on that particular exercise, but uh, Montgomery Boyce or James Montgomery Boyce uh, published Foundations of the Christian Faith, which is called a comprehensive and readable theology. And the reason it's comprehensive and readable is it because it was preached, mm. which means I think all responsible Christian theology should be preachable. And if it isn't preachable, uh, it ought to be. Right. It needs to be preached. And the success, I think, of uh, Boyce's uh, book is that he covers all the major uh, loci of theology. So he deals with um, the knowledge of God, um, the word of God, the attributes of God, God's creation, God the Redeemer, uh, the fall of the human race, law and grace, the person of Christ, the work of Christ, etc. Mm. But he does it in a very readable form. And I think one of the great advantages of uh, Boyce's book is that it's written to people in the late 20th century. Perfect. So it picks up a lot of the philosophical trends and errors that have been creeping into the church as a result of modernity and post-modernity. And uh, he alerts us to the implications of those for our faith. Mm. So if people are looking for something which is uh, very well written uh, and relatively simple, uh, Boyce's book is wonderful, a wonderful investment. It's good, it's good value.